Okay, it's time to talk about ChatGPT 4.1. It dropped today. I'm actually not gonna spend most of my time talking about all the features they announced with it, because to be honest with you, we've heard all those features before. What they did was they took most of the features they had quietly stuffed into ChatGPT 4.0, like better following of sequential tasks, like uh, better handling of numbers, like somewhat better coding abilities. And they said, hey, maybe the coding abilities should go with the API because I don't know, maybe developers would want it. That sounds like a reasonable plan. And so they put it in 4.1. And then in their infinite wisdom, they decided to deprecate 4.5 because, and I kid you not, actually from the live stream, they said 4.1 is better than 4.5. Why? The naming continues to get more insane every single time. I was just getting to know 4.5 as a model. It feels really weird to me to release it as a reach search preview and then yank it back. But here we are. Maybe this is OpenAI's admission that it was a flop. I kind of liked it. So anyway, regardless, 4.1 is not a state of the art model. And I want to emphasize that we are used to, and I think OpenAI likes this. We are used to thinking of OpenAI as always releasing a state of the art model. It's not. Gemini 2.5, for example, scores like 64% on SWE Bench. GPT 4.1, even though it's doing much better than 4.0, is scoring only 55%. And if you're wondering what SWE Bench, it's just an independent measure of engineering capability. It measures your ability to do engineering tasks. And Gemini 2.5 Pro is better at it. So this is the question I have. Why? Is OpenAI choosing to release worse models in the API than they release in their chat app? They have models in their chat app that they are choosing to not release in the API. Deep Research, for instance, is a model you cannot call in the API. It's a good model, not in the API. And I think that's really interesting. And I think it makes it more difficult to build out infrastructure that we can use to advance artificial intelligence capabilities across the ecosystem. And it pushes people more into a particular app. Now, that may be good from a consumer perspective, but it's not good from an ecosystem perspective. From a consumer perspective, if you're always getting the best apps in your app, in your chat GPT app, and you don't have to think about it, you're fine. But if you want an overall healthy AI ecosystem, you need state of the art models getting released that enable you to build in ways that drive the ecosystem forward. And I got to give credit, Google has done a better job here. Gemini 2.5 is a fine model and they've released it in the API. I've been playing with it for a couple of weeks now and I'm really enjoying it. It feels like a thoughtful model. It can be opinionated, it's clear. Uh, sometimes I like it to bounce ideas back and forth with Claude 3.7 in my IDE. It's working pretty well. I have played with 4.1. I played with 4.1 this afternoon when it came out, also in my IDE. I found it a little bit wordy, not as confident. It's fine. I got progress, but it didn't feel as smooth sailing as I felt when I was running with 2.5. 2.5, the, the vibe felt as good as the test results showed. It felt better, just, just like 2.5 scored better, right? So for what it's worth, um, I think that 4.1 was probably a necessary release because the only other API that they had in that class was four, which clearly wasn't up to it, but it's not a sufficient release. You know how necessary, but not sufficient. It's a step forward, but it's not enough. ChatGPT has some catching up to do on the tech ecosystem side. And I know they have a big week ahead, but it really remains to be seen if they're gonna release something that moves the needle versus uh, Claude and really versus Google now.